Uh, this next composer I'm going to play, Charles Griffiths. He's an American composer, lived at the turn of the last century. Went to study in Germany. Studied with Engelbert Humperdinck, not the singer, the man who wrote Hansel and Gretel, so we're over that very quickly. Um, and he went to the Berlin Zoo. And while he was at the Berlin Zoo, he saw something extraordinary. He saw a peacock, but it was a peacock with no colors. It was a white peacock. He was totally inspired by this. He said, oh my God, what is this? He found a poem by William Sharp, another American, that was about a white peacock. And he composed a piece, yes, appropriately called The White Peacock, uh, but it had actually a major influence because he came back to New York, he wrote it, it was a piano piece, he then later orchestrated it. Uh, Leopold Sakovsky actually introduced it and it really was the first American tone picture or tone poem. And it has influenced many composers since then, this little piece, all because he went for a day at the zoo. So as you go through your life, you know, is it a cliche to say, take a moment and smell the flowers, but take a moment and look up. Look out of your iPhone and see what's around you because it might change the way you look at the world. This piece, uh, here's the poem uh, before I, I play the piece. Here where the sunlight floods the garden, where the pomegranate rears its glory of gorgeous blossom, where the oleanders dream through the noontides, where the heat lies pale blue in the hollows. Here where the dream flowers, the cream white poppies silently waver. Here as the breath, as the soul of beauty moves in silence and dreamlike and slowly. Thank you. 